So let's look at the next challenge, 183, customers who never order. So this is also an easy problem. Let's take a look. We have a customers table with ID and name. And ID is the primary key. So this uniquely identifies each customer in the customers table. And uh, we also have orders table, which simply has an ID and then the customer ID. So ID is the primary key for the orders table. So this uniquely identifies each order. And then uh, we have uh, the information about the customer who placed the order. Now we need to write a SQL query to report all customers who never order anything. So we have to find out customers who never placed an order. And the result can be in any order. Let's uh, take a look at an example. We have four customers here. ID is uh, one through four. And then orders uh, table has two entries, order ID one and two for customers three and one. So among these four customers, only one and uh, three are placed orders and uh, two and four have never placed any orders. So our output to this query should uh, list the customer names. In this case, Henry and Max. So this is an interesting exercise. So let's see how we can approach it. So let's copy the script. And uh, we're also going to drop a customer's table if it already exists. Same thing with the orders. Now let's add semicolon at the end. Now let's create the tables and uh, populate the data. Customers and orders. And uh, let's work on the script. Select star from customers. We have four customers and uh, select star from orders. So we have two order entries and uh, four customers. But our problem is uh, we need to find only customers who haven't placed any orders. So to do that, we can approach it in a couple of ways. So, so order table has a customer ID. So that means we can quickly find out all the customers who have placed orders. So what we need to do is customer ID from order table. So if I run this query, it will list all the customers who have placed an order. Now, if you look at the customer table, at this point, the way we can approach this is that we can uh, look at all the customers in customer tables who are not in this list. Right? Because we have uh, a list of customers who have placed orders, so we need to exclude those customers. So what we can do is where, so in the case of customer table, we have ID column that uniquely identifies the customers. So where ID is not in this result. So select the customers only if that uh, customer ID is not in the order table customer ID list. Now if I run this, we'll see only the customer who don't exist in the order table. So this is uh, one easy solution, but we need to output, I think, only the name. So let's cross check. We need to output the name and uh, we should call the column as customers. So that means uh, we need to output the name and then we'll uh, call this as customers. Let's run this query and uh, we see the results. So let's run this. And it passed the initial test. Let's submit for evaluation and it pass. So this solution is good and it works. Now I also want to share one more option. So the way we are going to approach that is, so let's start with customer table. 
And then let's pretend that our problem is now to find all the customers who place the orders. We can join the customer table with order table. Let's do an inner join on orders table where our condition is order dot uh, customer ID is same as uh, customer dot ID. So this query is going to return the customer and their corresponding order. So we can uh, list the customer ID, customer name, then order ID, we'll call it as order ID, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Now if you run this query, we'll see all the customers who have placed the orders. So this works good if you want to list only customers who have placed orders. But if you want to list all the customers, whether they place order or not, what type of join would you use? We want to list all the data in customer table and optionally include order information. So if you have a problem like that, then uh, what type of join would you use? Feel free to pause the video and think through it. So in that case, we'll use a left outer join. So left side of the join is always included. So in this case, the left side is a customer table. So all customers are included and orders are optionally included. If there is a match, we'll include the orders. If there is no match, then uh, we're going to put null for orders. Now, if you run this query, what do we get? So we see all the customers and uh, some customers have order ID. Whereas the customers who don't have any orders, we see null. So that means we can use this information now to filter out. So the condition we are looking for is order dot order ID is null. So order dot ID is null. So this, not, this query is not checking for order table, which has null entries. Rather this uh, query is looking at this output and then wherever the order is null from this output, it's going to filter it out. Now, if you run this, we see only the customer names who don't have any orders. So order ID is null in this case. So this will also work. So here we need to once again output only the customer names using the alias customers. Yeah, so let's test it out. Went through and it passed. So we saw two different approaches. One is relatively straightforward and uh, probably easier to understand. So if you're just starting with SQL, just go with this approach. But you will find that a lot of people use this kind of uh, convention as well. Where you use a left outer join and then uh, include only the data in this table. If there is no matching record in this table. And uh, we do that using a null check. So practice both of them and uh, let me know what you think. Do like and uh, share your comments. Thank you.